Thank you for coming today. I'm here to offer the advice to the next generation of healers from a very experienced healer. First step, if you're gonna be a massage therapist, you need to dress the part. You have to look professional, but you can be a little funky, okay? So like if you have big earrings or something, clients like that because they like feel like by getting massaged by a funky person, they're getting funkier. So like if they're like an engineer and they're really boring job, they like are really jealous of your job and they think that they're getting the funkiness from you. It's really cool. But you also want to show them that you're like spiritual because like people like that, especially white people. So it's good to have like, like I have this necklace and it's, I don't know if you can see it's a hand and it like resembles henna and, and people go nuts over like anything that's not white culture. So this is great because it looks like I'm spiritual and I have healing hands, and I, that's really important to me, and, and uh, henna, white people love it. And white people will be most of your clients because they have money to spend on silly shit. You don't want to be too revealing. If you, I know I just gave a like, nice boob shot, but usually you want to have conservative clothing so that when you lean over, you're not showing your breasts to everyone. Some people you want to show your breasts to, but like you never know who's gonna come in your door and it could be like this old creepy man and then you're like, fuck, why do I wear this shirt? Cause I was gonna see my boobs. And you gotta worry about pulling your shirt down all the time. So it's just best not to. Okay, so first we'll have to meet a client and the client comes in and stop now. Have a seat right here. Hey, hi. hi. How are you? You always want the client to sit below you so they know that they're inferior. And they like that too. They like to know that you're like in charge and you know what you're doing. So do you have any um, like nasty infections I should know about or parasites or like? Um, well, no I don't. Um, okay. I did have a yeast infection um, a couple weeks ago but I went to the doctor and uh, he gave me something for it, so. It's cleared up? Yeah. Okay. Is it like spreading out down on your legs, or was it mostly contained to the vaginal area? It was mostly contained um, inside the vaginal area. Good, good. So we won't be in massage again. I hope that's okay. Uh, really? Because when I called, I. Well, maybe <laughs> for a couple extra bucks. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, right? Okay. <laughs> So, um, this is a good chance to look at your clients too and just get a general feel of like how attracted you are to them, if this is going to be nerve wracking for you or if you're grossed out by them, and prepare yourself mentally for such things. So, I'm feeling pretty good. Let's do it. All right. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to step out. You can undress, get on this top sheet, face down. Okay. All the way undressed. Okay. 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 Don't be a pussy. Oh, take off your underwear and your so bra. So I can't wear my bra. All right. What about my socks? You. I oh, guess wait, if you I want, if socks. you want everyone to talk about you after you leave, then you don't have to take off your socks. But we are gonna talk. Okay. It's your choice. It's your choice. I was like to give clients a choice, so you know, whatever you're comfortable with. Um. We will talk. What if I'm on my period? Can I take my underwear on? Yeah, you best because I'm not trying to have like some bloodstained sheets. All right. Have on, girl. I'll be back. I'll give you some privacy. All right. Recording. So, once your client's in, the first touch is the most important. It calms them down, and if you feel like you have one of these like spiritual people who are like all into like I don't know, like chakras and shit, what you can do that will really impress them is just breathe. It's so easy, and it will increase your tip. All you have to do is breathe loudly, and they love it. So you just. They'll think you're doing like magic voodoo. It's pretty cool. And then and then they do relax because they feel like they've gotten the force in them. So you start, I like to start by like warming up the body. This all also gives you a good chance to like, you got that visual assessment earlier, but then you can like feel like this girl's got a nice juicy booty. I like that. You know, so you can kind of like size them up. Or you know, some people don't always have such awesome booty. It's like sometimes you get these dudes that like their butt like just like go straight, it's like their back and their legs just kind of like go together, like there is no in-between area. But fortunately that's not what's happening here. Okay, so we warm up, pull out the sheet. Now, 
We'll get lotion. This is like a holster. It makes me feel like a cowboy. And it also is a great place to put your lotion so you're not always like, ah, where did I put my lotion? I can't find it. This lotion is freaking awesome. It's massage lotion. It's special. If you live with a man, hide it because men will use anything in the house to masturbate with and they will eventually find this lube, or well, this lotion, this out lotion, and it is by far like the best thing to jack off with apparently. And then they'll use it all. And then you have to be like, it's expensive, stop, just use the Walgreens lotion. But they, they're like hooked on it. And then you find it by like the computer all the time because they've been looking at porn and then next thing you know, your fucking lotion's gone. So hide the lotion. Now, if you work for someone else, or even if you work for yourself, you gotta listen to this shitty ass music. It's like Enya, it's like Celtic crap, it's like pan flutes, it's like stuff that they play in like Chinese restaurants. Um, it's really fucking like grating. It's like the shit you like would commit suicide to. So, like, if at all possible, it helps me to like imagine my own music in my own head. And then, you can like jam out because like you're totally listening to like Public Enemy or like Donna Summers, you know, or like whatever, The Misfits, you know, and so that makes it way better. On the music tip, if you're like really jamming out to the song in your head, okay, like lately I've been really into that fame song and you like really feel the urge to dance, which totally happens, okay, the best time to do such things are when they're face down, okay, because they can't see you, but don't forget, they can see underneath the face cradle. Okay, so you they're watching your feet. They're looking at your feet, okay? That's one reason to make your feet look pretty. Second, oh, that's also a good reason to be barefoot because they like to, it goes with the whole creative, funky type. They're like, oh my God, she's barefoot. Like, I wish I had a job where I was barefoot. Okay, but also when you get the urge to dance, okay, you don't want to dance here because they can see your feet. They'll know you're dancing, okay? If you go over here, they can't see your feet now anymore. Okay, so you can be like, Fame! I want to live forever! I want to learn how to fly! Die! I feel coming together! People will see me and die! I! And they won't know. They will not know. You can't sing like that. But you can like totally work it into a massage and they won't know at all. Not in front of the face cradle. They'll see your feet moving, they'll know you're doing a jig, they won't be happy. You have to at all times make the client think that you're thinking about nothing but them, okay? You also, people will complain to you a lot because they're like in pain supposedly. It really helps. You might think that people who come to massage are interested in being healthy. Nothing is further from the truth. People come to massage, want you to tell them how fucked up they are. They want you to be like, this is the worst back I've ever seen. How do you deal with this? Oh my God, you poor thing. They want that. But even if, they're, even if they have like the most healthy, young, athletic back you've ever seen or neck or butt or whatever, tell them it's awful. They love it. Don't ever, ever tell your client that they're that they're okay or that they're better than anybody else you've ever seen, okay? They don't want to hear that. They want to hear that they're the worst you've ever seen, okay? It validates them. They feel better. So feed into it. Tell them, like, man, I don't know how you deal with this. This is awful. God, I never, ever touched anyone like this before. Even though reality is I've had people with Parkinson's, MS, whatever, they're, they're in pain, okay? This, this bitch ain't in pain. But you just gotta, you just gotta do it, you know? So, you're going here, working it. Shit, I forgot where I was going. Okay, let's pause for now. I know, I kind of wanted to be like, 